Hey guys, Shot the Monkey here. So, I'm going to bring you a review of the Grizia, having put the first impressions video out uh, a little while ago. Uh, I've now played this ship enough where I feel like I can give you guys uh, a proper review and a proper cover of this vessel in case you uh, still aren't sure whether you want to get it or if you've picked it up for free in the uh, Christmas event for competing the third directive and you're curious what a uh, middling player thinks about it because then, you, of course, you can base your kind of evaluation of the vessel based on the kind of performance that I've had. You may agree with what I say about the ship, you may not. Personal opinion. Anyway, let's get right down to it. So we're going to start off first with the main battery, then we're going to cover the secondary armament, then we're not going to cover the torpedoes, because it doesn't get any, ha ha ha, and then we're going to cover the air defence, manoeuvrability, and last of all, concealment. Starting off with the main battery, you get four twin barreled 203mm gun turrets, two at the front, two at the back. Uh, they have a reload time of 20 seconds, which means you get four rounds a minute out of the guns. Um, so a reload time of 15 seconds, four rounds a minute out of the gun. Math. Uh, they have a rotation speed of 7 degrees a second, which means they have a 180 degree turn time of 25.71 seconds as stock. They have a standard firing range of 15.55 kilometers. However, you do get a spotting plane consumable for this ship, so you can extend that. And they have maximum dispersion at that range of 140 meters. Uh, of course, these ships, um, like the new Italian ships, use semi armor piercing, so there's no HE, so you have no fire chance capability with any of the shells that you can fire. Uh, but your AP shell has a maximum damage of 4,800, um, and then uh, I think the sap shell is probably a bit higher than that. Your shell velocity is 900 meters a second, which isn't bad. Um, Overall, the guns are reasonably nice. Um, certainly, the reload time can, on occasion, feel quite punishing. So, I would definitely recommend adrenaline rush for this ship. Uh, you have quite a nice chunk of hit points, uh, 37,100, uh, which isn't the. I don't think it's the best at tier seven, but it's certainly not bad. So, you can certainly make use of adrenaline rush for this ship. Um, it is a heavy cruiser, so the armor can be used. But I would put it in. As I said already, it, it's not something you should go out tanking with it's enough that you can get by but you're still entirely capable of being citadel straight through the nose or straight through the stern of the ship by battleships and your citadel is quite an easy target i think uh, i've been caught but by a few times but there's a couple of times where i've taken shots from the side and if they go a bit high i think they seem to go over the citadel uh depending on where they hit so your mileage may vary in that regard but certainly the main battery guns are quite nice the 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 sap damage if you can start landing five or uh, six shots or five shots plus penetrations with the sap shells um every time you fire them you can get a reasonable return on your damage for the rate of fire that you have but the, if your uh sap shells are ricocheting or they're not penetrating their armor and you start getting three penetrations per like full volley then it's it's just painful and there are certainly occasions where i would have rather have had high explosive shells than the sap shells but you get what you pay for um in terms of secondary battery, you have eight twin gun, uh, 100mm guns, eight twin barrel 100mm guns for your secondary battery. Stock firing range of 4.6 kilometers. They do fire 10 rounds a minute, so they have a reload time of six seconds. They are firing high explosive, uh, 1500 maximum HE shell damage, and a 6% chance of fire. Uh, with them being so short range, they're not going to be used that often. If you're that close to an enemy vessel, um, it's probably either a guaranteed kill regardless of what happens or it's because you've made a mistake and you're now regretting your decisions uh, as i've said the ship has no torpedoes whatsoever so there's no real reason to ever get that close your secondary battery isn't worth going in close for to have that engaging just doesn't put you out anywhere near enough damage uh this ship is far better played just trying to uh, either angle in or ideally kite away from vessels and then use the best you um that you can out of the uh, firing arcs that you've got from your forward and rear turrets to just try and put fire into people. Um, outside of that, no torpedoes, the second battery range isn't brilliant, so you shouldn't be closing in. Uh, air defense, I've now managed to test it. It's pretty terrible. Um, it's not so bad that you can't shoot down aircraft, but if you have even a tier six carrier that's focusing his strikes on you and is launching full squadrons at you, you do have to actually dedicate your time to watching where the squadrons are going, especially for the torpedo bombers, and of course actively avoiding the torpedoes because you'll never shoot down enough aircraft to stop him uh, dropping torpedoes on you. In fact, there are certain occasions where my he, he might be able to get a torpedo strike on you, have the aircraft fly directly over your vessel, turn them round, and come in for another one, and his squadron will still have enough aircraft left and enough health in it to uh, get a second attack run off. Um, I think a third is probably going to be too prohibitive um 
but certainly you'll get two attack runs out of most squadrons that you can launch at this uh, this ship, uh, especially from tier six carriers. Tier eight carriers, I dread to think how badly this thing would do. Um, so yeah, your A defense is not that good at all. Um, even with proximity to, uh, proximity to set, it's just not that brilliant and also not worth specking into either. You're just going to have to accept that it's just one of the flaws of this ship and uh, do the best you can to deal with it. Thankfully, in terms of movability, um, although you're on might slow, at 36, 33 not top speed, my apologies. Uh, Rudder shift time is 9.8 seconds, not brilliant, but again, not bad. You can, of course, decrease that because you have um, slot for upgrades. So you can put the reduced rudder shift timing in that if you want, or the reduced acceleration time, again, depending on personal preference. But your turning circle radius is 580 meters, which does feel quite nice for this ship. Um, certainly there are plenty of occasions where you can wait for your enemy to shoot and then put full hot rudder to port or full rudder to starboard and get the vessel turned around pretty quickly. Um, that, of course, in conjunction with the... Uh, Italian uh, exhaust smoke is a pretty nice combination. So this ship is certainly agile if lacking a little bit in the top end speed, but it's only very slightly lacking in top end. Not enough that it will really uh, let you down. What will let you down, however, again, is the concealment. This thing could be seen from orbit. Um, it has a stock surface detectability range of 13.96 kilometers. To put that into perspective, you're detected from 14 kilometers away and your main battery at stock fires to 15.55. That window is absolutely tiny, and as I said in the previous video, you will be spotted usually before you spot anyone else, and usually by the time you spotted somebody else, it's because they have not only spotted you, but shot at you. You can be seen from miles away. The same is true for air detectability range, it's 7.01 kilometers. Again, you're going to be spotted from miles away with this thing. Um, so you will want to pick up any skills that help you either detect incoming shells or show you how many people are targeting you, and if that number starts to increase, quite considerably pop smoke get that out of there disengage try and pull some distance on your enemies because like i said you are on a reasonably quick and agile ship uh, and just try and stay at range really that's the best you can hope for if you need to pop the of course the, uh, the spotting aircraft to improve your maximum gun range but the thing you have to consider there is um, with the new spotting mechanics that were put in quite a long while ago if you increase your maximum gun battery range firing range with your spotting um, aircraft and then fire that also further increases your detectability range to be spotted from even further away than you already are which is pretty disgusting but if you can manage it um, it can certainly work to your advantage that being said i've sort of enjoyed this ship um it's not going to be for everybody between the uh, lack of torpedoes the not brilliant aa uh, the terrible concealment and of course sap shells of well will turn plenty of people off uh, if you can deal with the, the sap shells, the semi-piercing shells, and you like the reasonable ballistics that the uh, Italian ships are providing, and you can handle having, you know, decent armour, good agility, of course hydroacoustic search is always nice, this might be something for you. If the sap really does turn you off, or the lack of torpedoes really does turn you off, I would recommend either picking up the Duca de Oster or the Duca de Gliabruzzi, which is the other two. Um, premium Italian cruisers available at tier 6 and tier 7 with them being on the older system they have high explosive available to them I believe both of them have torpedoes uh, and certainly the Duca de Osto I can say is a pretty nice ship I haven't played the Duca de Gliabruzzi so I can't recommend that um, myself but the Duca de Osto is certainly something you, that you can pick up and you probably will enjoy if the idea of playing the Grizia is not to you anyway guys I'd like to thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all Forza nemiche all'orizzonte. Il nemico colato a picco.
ora vittoria è vicina. Siluri a prua. affondato Vittoria è vicina.
portaerei nemica. 